Uh, welcome to a new video where I will compare the Photo Pro app between the Xperia 1 Mark 4 and the 1 Mark 3, the main photography app, which yeah, I will compare most likely not so much in photography, but let's get started. So let's start the Photo Pro app on both the One Mark Three and the One Mark Four. One, two, three, and we can see a tiny bit quicker on the One Mark Four. The first thing that we'll notice is it looks almost identical. There's only one small difference, and this is with the zoom buttons. We have on the One Mark Three dedicated buttons, also for the tele zoom, that can switch from 2.9 to 4.4. On the One Mark IV, we have a three and a half and five times, five and a half times, five point two times zoom that is connected with one button, indicating that there is a seamless optical zoom possible between them. And if I click on five point two, you can see that there is a slight animation showing that there is a zoom going on, and usually you would see it also in the picture here, which is a nice addition to. Yeah, indicating that you have now a lossless optical zoom on the One Mark IV. When we go in and see all the other settings, you see not much of a difference. Even if I go into the menu, it is identical. You don't have any differences here when you are in photo mode. But the differences appear when you go into the video mode. So let me switch to the video mode. And what you will see here right now, let's go to the menu, are some additional settings. First of all, we have the HDR and SDR options. So here I can choose between SDR, which is the default, and HDR, which is HLG BT2020, and is uh, shown here as well as a short explanation what, what's going on here as well, which helps you to yeah, work with the file. Then, also in terms of dynamic range, there is a dynamic range option here where you can choose standard, which is the default, but also white, which tells you, which allows you to use image processing that combines multiple frames to shoot video with a wider dynamic range. And you can choose this one here. What is not to set here is if you choose white here, then the stabilization will turn off. So you don't get any stabilization. So be aware of this one here, but you have the option to do it, to choose white there in the mm, setting. All the other settings are basically the same. There's just one new setting, which is face IA, uh, AI on and off, which is also, as you see here, a toggle button that you can turn on and off here. And if we go back here, you can see we don't have face IA uh, autofocus on off setting here on the One Mark III, one big change as well. But we have an HDR option here, so we can choose to turn on HDR here, the same as here, but we don't have it here in the menu. So it is possible to record HDR with the One Mark III app, but only with this, without the explanation, not telling you about HLG, which is, I think, something that is a little bit better on the One Mark IV. In general, the results are the same. When we start recording a video, what we'll notice is all the zoom slider buttons here or zoom buttons disappeared on the One Mark III. On the One Mark IV, they are still there because we have the new seamless zoom feature. So I can simply zoom out here to uh, 0 0.7, I can zoom in to 1.0, and you can see it has not only the animation that is smooth, but also the zoom would be smooth. I can go to two times, there's no two times zoom lens here, it's just cropping in two times. And the same goes for three times, five and a half times, 10 times, and 15 times. So you can get a very smooth zoom just by pressing a button and it automatically zooms in. Here, you don't have it, you press on it, and then you have a slider where you can slide in, which is a digital crop on the main sensor only, or whatever sensor you choose to start the video with. So you don't have this feature. Of course, I can also slide manually here to zoom in or zoom out just the way I like to. And of course, I also have the uh, volume key that I can use to zoom in and zoom even between the various different lenses. And here I can also use this volume key, but it only can go up to three times, which is a digital crop on the main sensor on the One Mark III. So this is possible here, and these are the main differences in the Photo Pro Basic app. 
Nice and simple, isn't it? What do you think about the new additions and changes? Everything else seems to be the same. So if I click on more, for example, we have the same slow motion, portrait, selfie, panorama and creative effects. And uh, like I said, let's go to the photo mode. Maybe I can show you one big difference when you are in the professional photo mode. So let's go in here and the one mark three is now on top, the one mark four on the bottom. There have been changes as well here, of course, in the professional photo mode, because when you go into lenses, you now have buttons here as well, where here it isn't buttons, it's just highlighted text. And so this is a difference with the buttons also indicating again the zoom range from 85 to uh, 125. Yeah. Everything else is the same. So the right hand side I didn't talk about because it's, yeah, it is basically the same. There's nothing much to it. And yeah, clicking here on various different stuff is not doing anything. And uh, the options otherwise like M mode, so fully manual mode, nothing changes here. So it is basically the same here. Not much of a difference. When we take a look at the new professional, more professional menu, what we can see here are the various different shooting formats. And you can see that the options here are slightly different, differently named. So we have like zoom settings here. We have digital zoom and AI super zoom that I can turn on and off. And uh, here it is called digital zoom settings instead of only instead of only zoom settings uh, where I can change it because indicating again it has an optical zoom. Then when we go to exposures, you can see the same kind of uh, options here. The same goes for focusing, not much of a difference and setup as well. There's not much of a difference here. You have the same options that you had uh, on the One Mark III as well. So the main differences are the new zoom lenses and the video mode. Now this is everything for the professional side of the Photo Pro app and everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.